So we're going to start the back bodice very similar to how we started the front bodice. We're going to start with that first line, that A to B line. And for my dress form, it measures about 18 and a half. So if you wanted to know what that line was, it was from about here to just below the waist. So that is the line that we are first trying to create. Okay. So I said that was about 18 and a half. So I'm gonna go down to this point. Make sure my line is straight. And using the numbers to guide me, I'm just gonna do that first line very lightly until I get to that 18 and a half mark. And if you can guess what this line is gonna be, this is gonna be the center back line. So that's gonna be my first line. And I'm gonna, same thing I did to the front bodice, I'm just gonna mark that A and B. So our next line is going to be that A to C line. And remember, that's where we're gonna to start to square out our shoulder. So that is going to be from here to here. And that came up to eight for me, eight inches. So I'm gonna go to that point A and I'm just gonna line up my ruler following the numbers and I'm gonna go out to eight. I'm just gonna make a little note there so I know where I'm attaching and I'm just going to connect that line and that is going to be C. Okay. And I'm going to square down from C similar to what I did in the front bodice. And I'm going to square it in about six and a half to C. Let's just move that over. So now to create my waist area, or just below the waist, again, we said that was this area here. And that is going to be points B to E. And for me, that came up to about 10. So I'm going to go to the 10 marker. I'm going to line up it's a little more than I mean, 10 and a quarter I'm sorry so for me it's about 10 and a quarter and then I'm going to make sure those lines are even you do not want uneven lines that kind of really doesn't do well for your design if the lines are too uneven And then I'm gonna mark this E, and then I'm gonna square up about 11 inches from that point E. Making sure I have my markings. Okay, so from E, I'm gonna go up 11 inches. Lightly at first, and then when I feel good about it, I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, so We've marked so far C, A, B to E. So now for our neck area, we're just gonna come down. I'm gonna say about an inch and an eighth. And that's where I'm gonna make my D line. It's gonna be two inches as well. Okay. 
So if you're wondering what that line was for, remember we said we measured so far from here to just below here, then we got here to here for the sh shoulder, but now we need to get this line right here. So that's what that line was about, is to get that neck curve area. And then we're gonna label it D. So, so far, similar to what we had working for the front bodice, we have our initial first couple of lines. So now we're going to move on to our next couple of lines and I'm going to pull out my blue mark. So using my blue color pencil, I'm gonna start making my points for A to F. So I'm gonna go up to A, and for my mannequin, it measured, so the top of that, the very top of the neck area, so not where the curve is, at the very top, I go over, and we measure about three and one fourth. So it's this point right here. And I'm going to make that F. Okay. And then we're also going to need that diagonal line that we created in the front bodice. And that's going to be from G to B. So that's going to come up to about 18 and some change. So I'm first going to lightly make sure I'm connecting the corners. And I'm gonna say 18 and between 1 8 and 1 4 So it's not too much, it's barely anything. And then I'm gonna make my point G. Okay, is everybody with me? Are we still together? All right, so let's continue to move. So now I'm gonna make my F to H. And what line is this? So our G to B was obviously the diagonal line. I'm sorry. It was here to here. So at my shoulder point to my center back seam. So that was from G to B. So now we need to make that shoulder slant. And that's going to be from here to here. So this is gonna be our shoulder slant, these points right here. And for my mannequin, that is about, let's see what we got here, F to G. It's about six and a half because it's gonna go a little past the G intersection. Why? Because The center back, the center bodice has a dart in both the shoulder and the waist area. So it has two dart areas. So we want to make space for our shoulder dart. So I'm going to go to this point and then just have it come out a ways. And that's going to actually make my point H. So then I'm just going to mark that right there. Now I'm gonna move down and start creating some space for my dart. So from B to J, that's the marking we're making right now. And from B to J, from B to J is the center back to the side seam. So we're going from here to here. And remember, we're also going to measure a little bit over because we want to create that space for us to put our dart in this princess seam. So for me, from B to J measures eight inches. So I'm going to go to B. Making sure my marker is in the right spot and not eight inches is going to measure nine and a half. So my J area is actually nine and a half and not eight. And then I'm just gonna create that line right there. Okay. And now using the letters I, L, and K, 
I'm going to be making my uh, points so that I can start to create my dart. So from point B to I, we're going to measure. And what's B to I? Here we go. So this is point B because this is a center back seam and I, so right here. So this is gonna be my first point. And that measures about, I believe, three and a half. Three and five eighths. So I'm just gonna mark that I. Okay. Then I'm going to measure from that point about an inch and a half. So from point I, I'm gonna measure over an inch and a half and I'm gonna mark that K. So if we have an inch and a half, what is half of that? So in the center of this, we're gonna create our L. So as we can see, we have the I line, the I point, and that was from B to I and that came from me about three and five eighths. Then from there, from eye point, I measured out an inch and a half to give me my end point of the dark. And then I just went directly into the center to give me my L. So we have I, L, and K. So for this segment, we've labeled so far G, H, point F, I, L, K, and J. I'm also going to bring out the red again because I actually want to ex extend this line over a bit because it's going to be where my F connects at that intersection. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more.